All right, y'all, the time is here. This house, the haunted house in Sydney, Australia. I've been here for the last, I don't know how many days. I haven't been vlogging because I've been working on the biggest project of my life. All my energy, all my purpose, everything into this project. I am now, for the first time, going back to the city that destroyed me, Los Angeles, California, and taking back ownership of my life and my power and throwing the biggest event that Los Angeles has ever seen on July 15th. I'm so excited, I'm so excited. We're just getting started. Here we go, go! How about just put it back seat or? I'm declaring it right fucking now. YouTube's gonna stream this event. It's gonna be on the front page. It's gonna have over 1 million concurrent viewers. Don't worry, next week, I'll be sitting with Ellen telling her how I pulled this off. You have to have people commenting saying he's on drugs, he's crazy. Why are we gonna sit and wait for somebody else to do it? Why is there only one Kanye West? Mm. Why isn't there 20 Kanye West? Yesterday that I had to pay the money that I had to pay because that's not money lost That's money invested in my dream When Kanye West is asking Elon Musk and you know whoever's at Apple for money It's because he has a vision and he knows if he had money he would be able to pull it off I've been blessed with money. Why keep wasting it on the stupid shit? I've been wasting it on on you know my Gucci jackets my watch this and this why not invest it into my dream? I'm showing everybody how with one thought, one crazy thought that entered my mind, I was able to do a night that everyone will remember forever. We just birthed the next Coachella. We just birthed the next major music concert festival. The hate in your veins can't stop your soul from vibing with this. That's how real it is, and that's how big it's gonna be. And lastly, I'd like to announce, I am dropping a song that day. So I noticed a couple days ago, FouseyTube was tweeting about July 15th. On July 15th. July 15th is real. Dollar in a dream, July 15th. The world is gonna hear about July 15th. I started asking like, you know, different YouTubers and whatnot, like what this was about. I asked my team. The most I got out of it is that it was gonna be some type of like fan meetup. Fousey ended up contacting me. I got the man of the culture. No, What's no. up? <laughs> he wanted me involved in this thing and he explained to me that this is going to be uh, an event with YouTubers and a couple musical artists to promote like peace and love. As I dig, I'm not sure if that's really what this is, but I want to find out what exactly this is about. Uh, I'm gonna say this now, if you wanna use it, if you don't wanna do it or don't wanna be a part of it, then we won't use it, okay? So basically I was inspired by you mm -hmm. from like Tanacon and FouseyTube is trying to do his own event in less than a week. So I'm like, oh my God, and FouseyTube, he said he's off meds, he's bipolar, he's either going crazy or he has the greatest idea ever. He's tweeting at Drake, he's tweeting at all these different people, and he's saying that like this event is gonna be huge. He has a venue with 400 people, and it's free. This might be the biggest shit show ever, or yeah. this might be great. Fousey Tube, he was in Australia, and apparently in Australia, he was doing like a fan meetup or something, and only yeah. 375 people showed up. Anybody at the bottom in a YouTube comment section who goes, you go through depression, you go through bipolar, how the hell are you gonna be a motivational speaker? I can stand up strong and say, watch me. He was walking around and people were like, oh my God, Fousey, because everyone knows what he looks like and they know who he is, right? But only 375 people are showing up to the show. So in his mind, he's thinking, okay, what? Everyone knows who I am, but they don't know that I'm having this event. How do I connect with the people again? How do I tell everyone? And he had this idea that he wanted to throw an event in LA on July 15th, right? And he was gonna go door to door telling people, he was gonna get everyone he could possibly get involved, and it was gonna be the next Coachella. We just birthed the next Coachella. I have him come to my LA offices. He comes in and is telling me and some business partners about this idea, and I still can't figure it out. Is he crazy? Or is this like a passionate thing that's gonna blow up? 
<clears throat> I just texted him and I said I'm going to FaceTime him for the documentary in uh, 10 minutes. Because uh, who's going to the event? Like, you know I honestly I mean? don't know. I, he's Not, been telling everybody. But I'm is gonna he go charging to, people tickets or is it free? It's free. Oh, I heard that okay. it's free completely tickets. free. I heard that. Well, free, <laughs> yeah. you know, people yeah. might show up then if it's free. But well, he said it's like the next Coachella. It can't that? be like the next Coachella. Okay, he actually yeah. finally found a venue. It holds 54 people, or 5,400 people. Oh, like, and he said that it sold out in 10 minutes. I mean, How do you sell out a free show? <laughs> For real, what are you selling? <laughs> He's, That's he, a great question. He That's hooked it up with Ticketmaster and Live Nation. Listen, I will never doubt anyone. I don't care if they're fucking crazy. I don't care if they're homeless. Never fucking doubt anyone. You never know what people could do when they have passion. So I will not hate on them for that. The thing is that, I look around, it's not the sun. I feel like he's trying to sell me a mixtape. <laughs> yeah, what, what is, is this? this? What was that? Like, but that's what I'm saying. All the signs that I see is leaning towards a shit show. And I want to be there to document the fucking disaster. But if he pulls this off, I want to be there to document that this crazy motherfucker pulled this off. Yeah. I just want to say something. Like, I remember, like, my first year of YouTube, for some reason, Fousey was, like, the big, or, like, he was, like, top three, top two. And so that's why... Uh, he saw me blown up, he reached out to make a video, and so I actually got to meet him, and he seemed really normal, and just by the way he's acting now, like, asking people publicly, like, any normal person would know, like, that's not even, like, that's not how you do a business. Like, right. you could easily just email them, and it doesn't take two days for someone as busy as Diddy to, you know what I mean? Right. Like, it feels like a street plan. performer hustling on the street. Like who would cancel day. these business plans in two days yes. for some random event? So it's not even logical to even hit him up publicly. So yeah. he's definitely not normal because like he's in this shit. He's a YouTuber. He knows that when people make vids for him, right. he never sees it. Like the, like the same thing happens. Yo Puff, you're all about energy. I watched your documentary. You inspired me. I learn off of you. I see how you speak to people. I see how you maneuver. I see how you think. So I'm starting to think bigger. And I currently isolated myself in a hotel because I need my own energy right now over the next 24 hours while I solidify this event. Hate dies, love arrives July 15th. He like, said, can you make it at 11? What time is it? So we're gonna be FaceTiming with him 20 in minutes. 20 minutes. That's fine. Uh, Let's anyway, get to the answers. Hey, what's up, man? Was good, bro. Obviously, I was inspired to do this from Shane Dawson. Like, I just had him on uh, Mom's Basement, right? I see what you're yeah. And I was like, I was like, he did that so good. And I wanted to, like, the one thing that's missing with TanaCon is like filming people and what they think this event's going to be before. Because there's a lot of people that obviously doubt you, right? Course, man. There's a lot of people that believe in you, right? <laughs> so I want to get at what everyone thinks and then I want to capture like what it actually is. So basically, like I've told you when I met with you, I was in Australia doing a tour and it was for 375 people. And everywhere I went in Australia, people were coming up to me to take pictures. And I've been in my mom's basement, no pun intended, <laughs> for the last year of my life, smoking weed and playing Fortnite. And I gave up on YouTube. So I'm in Australia. I get pissed off because I know the potential that I've been limiting myself from and everything. So I got so pissed off that I said, you know what? To prove this to myself, first and foremost, and then the world, the original intention was I'm gonna go to LA, sell 300, uh, 3,000 tickets by hand for $20 a piece, mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna sell out an arena. And then it turned into something else. And then once I made that, once I made that intention for myself, right? I worked on a project I wanted to premiere and I said, hold on. And all of a sudden, the ideas and everything just got bigger. And then I came up with a date called July 15th. What, how do you see the show being? Here's just show. music? The show starts, there's a DJ on stage, doors are open, people come in, music's playing, people start pouring in. I'm gonna come out, I'm gonna say my name is Yusuf Erika, and I'm gonna explain my story about leaving LA, what broke me down, I'm gonna give a motivational speech about why it's important to chase your dreams, what got me back, and then the importance of when I dropped my ego and decided to reach out and collaborate with everybody who have been enemies of the past, how strong we were together. And I'm gonna ask every YouTube 
who wants to like come on stage, shout out names, like yo, shout out Keem, mm -hmm. you know? Me and Keem had a problem, we squashed that shit, and now watch how much stuff we're gonna do together. Shout out Bang, shout out Clout Gang. I want everybody to feel loved that night, to know like, like look what we did. Dude, I like, part of me like doubts like this, obviously just like anyone else. The way you're presenting it and the way you want it is inspiring and like, it, it is a cool, it sounds like something that like I would love to be a part of like a bunch of us like doing something really big like that. But you you keep saying like, I've dropped my ego. What about the criticism that like, maybe you want to do this to show that you did it for your ego? There were people who said we fucked with Fusi's energy, but on the other hand, there were people who said he's off his medicine, he's manic, he's doing this for this, doing this for that. When I was in the car with my team today, I said the reason I can't pay no mind to those comments is because if I present myself as me and I fucking know I'm not being fake, like if I'm being Fusi tuber persona, right. and I'm doing everything with positive intentions and there's positive reactions out of it, I'm not even worried about that. I'm so far past that. My intention out of this, and I know this is gonna sound crazy, I wanna make a hundred million dollars in the, like in my lifetime, right? In a couple of years. And I get asked, and I would not say this to you unless I'm in it, I wanna take that hundred million dollars turn it into a foundation and that money to be able to be used by people in the world in real life circumstances whether it's and i know this sounds crazy i'm trying to think that big though one common thing would be like look if this makes money this money's not going into your pocket fill out this form if your mom has um a illness that she has that she needs a hospital from right they can help fund that what up pimp what's up baby all right so um I just want to talk to you, like, in dead ass, like, they're recording this right now. It's like a documentary, whatever, he's doing documentary. Yeah. But I want to talk to you, like, person to person, because, like, a lot of the shit you're saying right now is actually shaking me the fuck up, because it's, it's, like, crazy how similar it was to, like, I don't know if you remember, like, when I had a meltdown on, like, social media. Straight up, I was manic, like, straight manic. And, like, I had all these, like, aspirations to be, like, a philanthropist, and I dead ass felt like, I was so in tune with the universe and so in tune with like what I was supposed to be fucking doing. And it was like in the weirdest way, it like, it felt so good to feel crazy, to be crazy. It felt so like, I felt so smart. I felt so ahead. I, things clicked the way they never clicked before. I saw things that I never saw before and not even in a crazy way, but it felt like almost in like a genius type of way. Yeah. And wait, was this when you were on Adderall? No, I was never on Adderall. I've taken, oh, okay, okay. I've taken Adderall occasionally in my life, just like anyone else, okay, for like so tests. Asking, I mean, and then were you asking yourself, am I manic or is this real? I wasn't telling myself I was manic, but I definitely knew I was fucking crazy. But I felt like the wave I was on was the right wave and it felt good to me. I grew up broke and stuff. Like I never had anything close to that. And it was just like such a huge shift in my life. And something clicked with me and I knew I was just gonna be rich forever. I knew it was gonna happen. And the idea of that, like I was like, fuck it, man. I, I'm gonna give all the money away and I'm gonna do all this and that. And like, I got so much good feedback and good energy from people. And like people were like, holy shit, yo, you're like on like some really cool, cool shit right now. But for me, and I don't want this to scare you or deter you or whatever, but for me, it turned out to like just ultimately ruin my fucking life for like a good year. And I needed that. I spent two weeks in a mental hospital because of the shit I was doing. And I just went too deep, too deep. And it killed me for like a full year of my life. Dude, I walked around the mall, my local mall. I had, I think like $47,000 in my bank account. I bought kids Christmas presents for like three straight days and spent every dime I had. Cause I said, Love fuck that. money and shit. And it was Love crazy, it. man. And my because parents and my friends. Come back. Yeah, no, that's the way I thought of it too. And I don't want to like steer you in the wrong direction or anything, but I just want you to be careful with it. Let's say the event takes off, right? And, and, yeah. and somehow the artists don't show up or people don't show up and it's, a, and it's a flop and it's failed and it's seen as a fail. What happens to Fousey after that? Can I tell you exactly what happened? I've already thought of it. And because I, I was stressing out yesterday because I was real, I didn't realize that I have so many more days and everything I was stressing about yesterday got resolved today. But yesterday I told myself after I was talking to somebody, it was Tyler, it was Tyler Perry. He said, Yusuf, even if exactly what you just said happens, he said, if nobody shows up, if no artist shows up, you go on that stage, you announce what your intentions were, and you say, I fucking tried and I did this with good intentions, and you <coughs> were planning to deliver, 
drop the video you plan, the music video you plan on dropping, and you just do it with love. And you take Wait, you're music. dropping a music video? Yeah. Wait, is this about promoting your music? Yeah, no, not at all. When did you make the song? When I was in Australia. Oh, okay, okay. Yo, but on some real shit tomorrow, if y'all wanna smoke and just talk or hang out and feel, get a feel in real life. Yeah, real I wanna life. do that. All right, let's do that. I'll link up with you tomorrow and let you know. Sounds good. Bro. All right, thank see you, bro. For the call and everything. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for being honest and like dealing with our critical questions and shit like that. Dude, dead ass. Like I would never, after like me leaving for, so I would never come back and try something like this unless I actually believed it. I wouldn't make myself look like a fool for any other reason on the internet again. So, no. Like, I really, I really believe in this one. All right, all right. Let's do it. Let's kill it. Tomorrow, right. let's hang. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. He did it to promote his music video. Listen. What music video? He just told me that he made a fucking music it video. Be, it, 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 Slow it down. We're not, let's just, let me just speak for a second. For a good second. And don't interrupt me, okay? We're not talking about someone who's all there right now, okay? He's fucking going through a manic episode. One trillion percent. I don't know if that's true. One bajillion percent. He just said that he filmed the music video in Australia. He says that he does a meetup. There's only 300 people there. So then he plans this whole event and wants all these artists to be there. And he's planning to fucking world premiere the fucking music video there. This is how he's doing, this is a business fucking thing no, for his he's dropping, a vid, he's dropping a video about like fuck, hate, whatever. No, did you just saying. hear him? Did yeah, he not bro, just say, did. what'd he say? Yeah, he said, I'm dropping the music video. That, that, listen, uh, that doesn't mean shit though. Yeah, it could be. That this dog, is to listen, promote his music, All I'm, I'm saying you. to you is if you don't think Fousey is going through a manic episode right now, you are lost and have no understanding of what it means to be manic. We don't really know if he's crazy or if this is to promote the music video or if this is really what he's saying, just about, you know, peace and love. But I'm gonna go and find out. Are you guys going? I'll probably pull up, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely Because at this I'll point, go it's a mystery, right? And I wanna get to the bottom of it, of what this is really all about. Yeah, go ahead. It started just from Team telling us that uh, who's he's throwing the fucking event, okay? So he's telling us that he's throwing a random event, it's all about peace, peace and love, this, that. And then yesterday night, after midnight, uh, randomly, after we tried calling him, randomly, Rice starts getting tagged in a bunch of videos. It's the same video, it's one song that gets leaked. It's a dish cut on Rice. Hey Brian. <laughs> Rice ain't got no spirit, got no deeper layer. One ghost writer, one ghost Fortnite player. Two ghosts, two ghosts. Yeah, it was fucking Who's these who's making a diss track? Oh, no, get out for me. Can I get on your album, maybe? Absolutely not. I'm playing so. Really? Yeah. You know who's the best? This is like the star hey, he was hyping up. <laughs> yeah. Rice ain't got no spirit. Got no deep layer. One ghost writer. One ghost what? Writer. Yeah, that's what this is all about, apparently. This track on you. And uh, Mr. Rice Gump stole everything in his life. Um, the king is back, I look around. Dude, I'm confused because I thought he was hyping up a positivity, so... That's what, like, I mean, I kept saying to everyone, right, that this is all about the music. Like, this is what he was gonna do. But why is it about me? I thought me and him were friends, bro. Do you have, what's the, what's the deal? Like, there I has to be some beef or something. No, not. I've never talked to him in, in like a while. Did you tell him you were going to the event today? Dude, he texted me saying come to the event, so I'm just confused. Why is it about me? Well, you go talk to him. <laughs> go tell him why is it about me. I'm, I'm going to. I'm going to the event. We're go ask the whole him. Thing. Go ask him because I didn't do anything. I haven't even seen him for like five months, bro. He so, didn't. so why do you think he's doing a diss track on you? Cause he's irrelevant, dude. That's <laughs> why. I don't think I've even done anything. Do you think he's trying to bait you into making a song about him? Maybe, but like, I'm not going to. <laughs> Do you know why? Cause he's irrelevant. <laughs> B Rug and Banks and stuff. Are, we're still gonna go, but like, what, like at what time? We're going at like three. Three yeah, thirty. So. All right. Well, if he performs a diss track, storm the like stage and be like. Stop! <laughs> Everyone stop! No, <laughs> Alright, man. You told him that you were gonna go. I know, dude. I stayed up all night last night and all this shit happened about Bryce, the diss track and shit. I'm excited.
exhausted. I haven't slept in like fucking, I don't even know. Did you call me out though? I don't even know. So I'm gonna text him right now. Um, I don't know. It's just fucking, I, I have a weird feeling about all this shit. I really do. Drake performing is gonna make or break me going. And how can I feel like Drake might be performing, you know? Like this yeah. is the day of, I don't know. Hopefully, you know what I mean? Everything I said stands true. Right? I wish for the best. Um, and if everything goes great, then great. I don't need to be there. I don't need to feel like I'm a part of it. All right, well, just make sure you text him. You told him you were 100% going. I'm going to reach out to him. I love him, but he's not coming. <laughs> The diss track was about Rice Gum being fake, right? The diss track was about um, Rice Gum has a ghostwriter, Rice Gum doesn't do his own Fortnite, that yeah, like, everything about Rice Gum is fake. And I think he was trying to say is that he's gonna keep it real. If he actually does release this diss track, then I'm very, very disappointed in this whole event. Well, I gotta say this, regardless of how it happens, like regardless of what happens here, um, his whole MO about building hype for this event, he's been very, very successful because I like cannot wait, right? So, you know, I have to hand it to him. Like it's 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 a W in my book because I, I'm so excited to see what this is. You know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah, yeah. his job was to promote this event, promote July 15th, build as much hype as possible, and he's done that. I'm just gonna say it right now, like this event right now is the biggest clickbait there is. Because yeah. no one knows what it is, and the only way to find out what this event is, is by going. That, that, that. July 15th is a giant clickbait. Yep. And I'm clicking. Guys, they lost power. Yeah.